What is happening, sports fans? Jermaine Man Matt from the DFS Five Pack, rocking it so today, July seventeenth. A little bit of a late video today. I am coming home from a wedding in Michigan. A couple hour, three hour drive for me. So I just got home. Ryan uh, has some other stuff to take care of today. So you got me solo. We got a ten game slate tonight. I'm excited to break it down with you guys. Let's get it. Um, some good pitching options tonight. Let me screen share this, and we will dive. In a couple weather concerns, but hope, hopefully every game plays. All right. All right, we should be good here now. So starting at the top, uh, you know, pitchers ballpark in Cincinnati, but two pitchers that are widely in play in Woodruff and Castillo. Woodruff, uh, you know, maybe he's taking a, a little bit of a step back, but I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, you know, again, the strikeouts haven't been really there, which makes it tough to want to pay this price. But I have a feeling that a big game's coming from him. Not that I think you necessarily have to go here at all today. I know other good options on this slate, but he's certainly in play and he's getting quite a bit of love and for good reason. Garrett Cole is also getting love coming off, you know, his best start in a while against Houston, now facing the Red Sox at home. This game has big weather concerns, so I'm not really buying the ownership here. I don't think it's really going to end. He's going to end up with high ownership. I imagine Castillo gets a ton of love uh, at that price point and a, and a good matchup against the Brewers at home. We'll get there. Moving on, Giolito. Um, he finally pitched well. You know, sticky substance guys, his spin rate guys. It's not like they're always going to be really bad. It's just they're probably not going to be as elite as they were. We've seen, you know, recently, you know, have really good starts. These guys are good pitchers. They're going to have good starts. Consistently, though, I don't think they're going to be the aces they have been in the past, at least for Giolito. Cole, I think, is just a, a notch better than Giolito, so won't be surprised to see him, you know, get back there. But Giolito has taken a step back, and I think we're going to see that continue. Uh, again, he is coming off a good start, so you're buying that i get why you wouldn't like houston bats but i kind of like some houston bats here he had gotten hit hard the two starts before that they're good they they were pretty good last night only reason they you know didn't stand san diego went berserk but i like some houston bats here i have no interest in giolito personally um desclafani i know ryan's been on him a lot this year um i mean man he's been good He's not getting any love either. So in tournaments, I see, I mean, he's expensive, but check the game log. Not scared of this matchup. Uh, you know, I don't love picking on St. Louis at all because I think they, the hitters in the lineup are better than the numbers have said this year. That said, they're not a great lineup, and Jessica Fani's having a really good year. So I think he's on the short list, if nothing else. Walker Bueller. Um, you know, I had some interest in Urias in tournaments last night, and I have similar interest in Bueller here. People won't use pitchers and cores, and I get that. I mean, there's a lot of other pitchers in play. I don't think you have to force it. But Bueller's, you know, arguably the best pitcher on the slate. Uh, you know, certainly the guy that if any team could build around one of these pitchers, it would be Bueller. Uh, he's been really good in two out of three. Tough spots where the downside's real, but the upside's real also if he can miss a lot of bats. Again, only in tournaments, not the optimal guy, but – I think he's worth looking at in like GPP formats. Kikuchi, who I've been really high on this year, was not good last time out. Broke his streak of 20 pluses. Um, I'm fine with him here. Don't love him. He's you know pricey-ish. I man, between him and Descafani, I think I feel better about Kikuchi's floor, but I think Descafani might have a little bit higher upside. That might be off though. So. Uh, I think that, you know, do what you want with these guys. They, they seem to be kind of similar. Um, I'll say this about the pitching options. No one that, like, stands out play. So I understand why Woodruff is, is going to get a lot of love, especially with Cole perhaps out of play. Uh, Eovaldi, you know, might not pitch. I'm not really looking there anyways. Although, again, if this game plays, the Yankees lineup that they threw out yesterday was not very good. Uh, I don't think you're crazy to like Eovaldi here. Weekend, sorry, um, Alex Cobb. He's interesting. 
Um, we've seen him with a bunch of upside games recently, also with some downside games. I think he could pick up some ownership with Cole if Cole is out of play. Uh, I'm mixed on Cobb. I have torn feelings. I get it. Uh, he is upside in this matchup at this price. However, the downside is real as well. So kind of fits the lines with these other guys that are a little bit more expensive. Um, Max Freed. I'm a fan of Freed going against a strikeout heavy Tampa team. You know, he's more solid than spectacular. Has not been great recently. I could see him pitching well here, though. Um, it looks like he's getting a little bit of level as well. Pitching seems to be spread out, and that doesn't surprise me. Um, especially with, you know, Blake Snell projected to get love. But this game is also also has weather concerns. So not sure how much love Snell is going to get. He is very cheap, but weather concerns, he hasn't been good, especially on the road. If he gets love, give me some Washington bats, assuming this game plays. Um, as far as Castillo goes, yeah, I mean, I like him a lot. I'm still a believer in his stuff. He hasn't been great at all this year. He's kind of, you know, had picked it up a bit and not fallen back a little bit. But at home against this Brewers lineup, I think he is solid at this price point. Again, I, I like him as much as the Alex Cobbs and Kikuchis and even Descafanis of the world, and he's much cheaper. Not saying a couple of those guys don't have higher upside, but at this price point, I'm fine with Castillo in all formats. I like him quite a bit. After that, um, Tyler hmm. McGill is pretty good for us. Yeah, he's too expensive. Um, I could see Hughes and Kim. I mean, he's been really good three starts in a row. He doesn't have the highest upside in the world. That seven Ks is, I wouldn't expect that, you know, next time out. But he's only 6,500, so if you want to load up on bats like the Dodgers, I get it. Um, after that, I mean, just can't do it. You know, he's got the occasional good start to pitch well against the Reds last time out. I can see him getting blown up here, so I'm not interested in him. He is only 6,600, though, and he's got like a full, you know, he – He's got a, he'll go, you know, hundred close to a hundred pitches if he's pitching well. So can't say that about all the guys in this price range. Uh, after that, not really interested in any of these guys. I would say if I was building one lineup, like Castillo, it might just be Castillo and Woodruff. I really don't want to pay that money for Woodruff though. Um, Bueller, Descafani, Woodruff, Max Freed, all guys in play for me there. It's like my SP2 or SP1, maybe. Uh, you don't know, have to see how the expensive off or how expensive you know the offenses I want to work with are. So that will matter a lot as far as my pitching goes. So all right, let's go ahead and talk about some offenses. So again, I mentioned a couple weather concerns, but this doesn't seem to be one of them. You got McGill versus Crow. Um Francisco Lindor, I imagine, is not going to be in the lineup, uh, right? I don't know what that really means. Day to day, we'll see if he plays today. Uh, if he doesn't play, it makes their lineup worse. It also makes their lineup cheaper, so you can spend up on two pitchers. The Mets are in a good spot here, and I get why anyone would want to use some pieces. I mean, Conforto, 3,400, not having a great year, but has shown science recently. Uh, I think he's a fine look here. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what their lineup looks like again. Don't know about Lindor. Will Crow is not good. Not a good ballpark at all for the Mets, but you know sometimes that doesn't matter when you're facing a bad pitcher. And if you want to stack the Mets, I get it. The Pirates against McGill, no thanks. Uh, the Pirates just don't really hit. McGill is fine. Uh, I'm not looking to really use BK, but if forced to choose, I'd probably use him over stacking the Pirates on this slate. And the, and the Padres. So, again, this game has weather concerns. Padres, as of now, we're getting love. Makes sense. I mean, they're really good. They went absolutely nuts last night. Patrick Corbin's not very good. I get it. Um, uh, she watched in this lineup. So sort of Renato Barry, he was on the Indians a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he was. Um, okay, so as far as the Padres go, the Padres go yeah, they're certainly in play. Uh, you know, Tatis, Machado. Fam, Myers, all these guys crush lefties. They're good. Coming off monster games. I mean, Will Myers, absolutely not. I mean, all these guys. This is one of the highest scoring teams I've in all my years playing MLB DFS. 
Myers with a 40 spot, 40 plus spot. Fam with a 40 plus spot. Cronenworth hit for the cycle and went for 36. Guys, Machado only went for 11. He got pulled early, I'm pretty sure. Tatis went for 22. So good. I mean, really good, but not like the other guys. Hosmer had a big night. He went for 28. So, yeah, they just went off everywhere. I mean, even guys like Jorge Mateo homered. So, if you want to go back there in this game, plays do your thing. Washington also, like, they're in play for me. Um, you know, especially guys like Turner, Trey. That Trey Turner wants Soto. I mentioned Soto. Thought the big, you know, he's going to go on a, on a hot sooner rather than later. You know, it's here right now. Two home runs last night. Right up. He was one of my favorite one offs on the plate. He did his thing, albeit you needed much more than him to do anything last night with how good San Diego was. Um, yeah, that happens, though. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, if you use San Diego, congrats. Hopefully you cast nicely. El Cine Escobar. Is not a great hitter, but leading off against the popular Blake Snell, yeah, I get it. Um, again, I don't know if this game plays. So I don't want to spend too too much time on it, but I'm more interested in tournaments in watching against Snell and Snell himself. Although at that price point, I get why anyone likes him. Walking since this is a game about uh, bats, about pitchers for me, so not really looking at any bats. Other really good spots in this slate: Baltimore and KC. I think you can make cases here for sure. I mean, Jorge Lopez is not very good. KC was another team that was really good last night, just not good enough because of how good San Diego was. So that doesn't mean that they weren't good themselves. Um, and I think that uh, there's other spots I like more, but there's going to be spots that other people like more. So I don't think that Kansas City, although people love picking on Jorge Lopez, I'm sure KC gets love here. And if they're not chalky, I'm not too interested um, like give me a team like Houston at really low ownership over a team like, you know, KC at their prices, even if the matchup's worse for Houston. Um, you know, we've seen Lopez pitch decent. I get the KC stack, but, you know, looking at ownership a little bit, I see that they're getting love and I'm not, I'm not looking to use a chalky Royals offense here. It's not really for me. I'd rather use Baltimore. Um, they're getting a lot less love. And I think Singer is, you know, very hit or miss. So if he's off tonight, Baltimore got a really good game. I'll we'll have to wait and see what their lineup looks like. But, you know, guys like Mullins always in play. has been really good since the break. Uh, Trey Mancini, same thing. Let's see what he's done since the break, anything. Yeah, he can homer once. So, or no, he has, he has only played one game. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with these guys, so. Orioles stack works for me. KC stack looks more like a cash game play, and I get it. Giants and Cardinals. So we got Desfafani versus Kim. Tough to really want to play either of these offenses on this slate. It's just the honest truth about it. I mean, we've seen Desfafani get hit before, so. If you want to call your shot on the Cardinals, I mean, hey, I've done crazier, that's for sure. It's tough to see them winning this slate, though. Descafani's been good. They haven't been good. It'd be very baseball for them to go nuts, but probably not where I want to put my money. Um, and the Giants against Kim in a better spot on paper. Kim's been good, though. He just pitched well against his team. I'm not overly excited about using the Giants in, in this particular spot. Houston and the White Sox. I am excited about Houston, though. Uh, in tournaments, I think that they're a really good play. Giolito, again, coming off a really good start. He had been very blah before that, getting hit hard by the Orioles and Tigers. And the Astros are good. Ran a bunch yesterday. Again today. And these guys are no luck. Alvarez, 5,700. He's getting bypassed. He was 8% yesterday after an 0-4. No one's second. Houston, I bet he's half that. To guys like Kyle Tucker, 3,600, coming off a really solid game. He had three stolen bases Past two, in his past two games. A lot. Brantley was one of my favorite plays last night. He homered 20 plus DK. Uh, I like going right back here. These guys are really cheap, so it also allows you to spend up on pitching. You know, Altuve certainly in play. Guriel, he had a nice game last night. So he's heating up. I think he has another nice game tonight. He'd be one of my favorite plays on the slate. And yeah, I like the uh, Astros quite a bit here in tournaments. Going fully well that 
you know, Giolito has good stuff, obviously. I mean, he, he did K, he had an amazing year last year. He was one of the better pitchers in the league. And I don't think that like the sticky stuff and stuff is going to make him some scrub, but he was good. And he hasn't been really good recently. So I'm much more interested in the Houston side in tournaments. Giolito could pitch well here, no doubt. As far as the White Sox go, uh, I think they're definitely in play. Um, you know, I could see off this game. Oda Rizzi is I like Alex Cobb in my mind, where actually maybe he's like, he's more solid than that. He's been pretty solid recently. I mean, listen, the White Sox are good. Not really looking to use them against him, though. I mean, these guys are expensive. No love. They're, they're probably going to get less love than the Astros at their prices. Uh, I'll say this. I don't hate it in tournaments, but I'd have to make it a bunch. All right, last four games. Boston, New York, game that weather concerns. Um, could easily see this game, you know, have multiple delays, be postponed. Not sure I really want to mess with it. Plus, like – is aren't in good spots, so I don't think we need to spend too much time on it. The Rays and Braves, uh, Freed versus Fleming, two lefties on the hill. Saw a bunch of offense in this last night. I don't think anyone was on it. I don't think many people are going to be on the offense in this game tonight. Uh, Atlanta's lost a lot of luster with Noah Cunha. People are going to be on Freed a little bit. Um, I don't hate pieces from either side. Uh, Freeman monster game last night. And I mentioned he looks good right now. So in a lefty on lefty matchup, he might not get a lot of love. And I think he leaves in a really good spot. You got Dansby Swanson's eh, Dansby Swanson now the two old. Check that game log. Atlanta looks to be in kind of a sneaky spot here. Um, you know, Fleming is not a guy I'm afraid of at all. I don't think they get any love. Just leading off El Monte. Shock is leading off for them. Ooh. That makes it even more interesting. He was talking all year. Ryan mentioned this, how he, you know, was looking forward to being able to face lefties. Man, in a spot tonight against a lefty, I'm interested. Interested for sure. It's tough to want to use these guys, like, over the Dodgers and stuff. But, hey, that's what you got to do if uh, you want to get a little bit different on big baseball sites like this. Garcia, certainly in play. As far as Tampa goes, I don't think they're an awful play either. It's just there's better spots on this slate. It's hard for me to want to, you know, prioritize Tampa here. You know, losing the DH, Meadows, firm against righties. This is another one. I mean, this is kind of like the White Sox to me. Like, you know, I'm going to use free and overuse the Rays, overusing the Rays, but. Uh, I think you could make a legit argument for using these guys in tournaments. There's only a couple slate, a couple offenses on this slate I think you're kind of foolish to use, and, and the Rays are not one of them. All right, we got the obvious spot of the night, Dodgers against the Rockies. I don't think we really want to use too many Rockies bats against Bueller. That said, their offense is a lot better at home. They got to Urias yesterday. They fit into me with, like, the Rays and the White Sox. Even in cores, you know, usually they'd be in a better spot, but they're facing the best pitcher on the slate. But still, even facing the best pitcher on the slate, they're still, I guess, in play in tournaments like, like I mentioned, the Rays and the White Sox, simply because, you know, we've seen this offense be really good in cores. Crone hit a grand slam last night. Um, you know, again, I'm more on the Bueller side, but you're not crazy to like the Rockies. As far as the Dodgers, they're all in play. You want as much exposure to them as you can get. Uh, you know, that's high priority in all formats and cast games, especially you just lock them in and move on. Can't get enough of Mookie bets, you know, playing well right now in a crush spot on the road in cores against Kyle Freeland, AJ Pollock. I think you just lock in right with him. Always been a lefty masher. Looks good right now. He'll be really popular. Don't leave your cast games at home without those two guys in them. I just don't think you can lock them in fast enough. Justin Turner, same way. It makes sense. These guys are going to get love with the Royals. I actually think the Dodgers might get, might not get as much love as they deserve. That said, they're going to be the most popular offense on the slate. So, you know, all these guys are going to get a ton of love. Chris Taylor, you know, he's expensive. These guys are expensive, but that's why Castillo at 7,500 makes so much sense. That's why Blake's now at 7K if that game plays does make sense. I don't like it, but I get it. 
Uh, I think you might see the lefties a little bit under owned. You know, Muncie really expensive. Cody Ballinger expensive. These might be the guys that you prioritize in tournaments if you want to go balls to the walls on the Dodgers. All right. Last but not least, we got the Angels and the Mariners. So Kikuchi versus Cobb. More of a pitcher's game for me here. Um, the lineup is pretty depleted right now with no Trout, no uh, Rendon. If you want a one-off Otani, I mean, do your thing. He's amazing. I get it for sure. And, you know, Cobb has been mostly really good, but also has – you know, gotten bombed a couple times. So if you want to take your shot on Seattle, they're like to a lesser extent, those other offenses I mentioned, they're just really cheap. So, you know, you can use expensive pitching or you can fill these in, fill these, fill in with these guys, you know, without breaking the bank, which always helps. So I don't know. That's kind of how I see the slate. I think the Dodgers, the Royals, uh, cash games is probably where you want to go. The Braves and the Astros in tournaments. I'm digging those two teams. And yeah, it's a fun slate. Let's get it, guys. Thank you. Members only one video today. Just because it's uh, running so late, the write-up will be out you know, about 90 minutes before lock for customers. Thanks for bearing with me today, guys. Both Ryan and I will be back on tomorrow together. Again, if you want more videos, more content, more me, more Ryan, uh, more anything of us, just go check out the DFS5pack.com. Thanks a lot, guys.